The St. Louis Peregrine Society provides services and supplies that insurance does not cover to cancer patients in our area. For a sixth year, they are throwing their annual trivia night to benefit these patients. And here with me from the Peregrine Society is Executive Director Sherry Cunningham. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you, so, Sarah. So uh, we do want to talk about trivia night, but before that, let's talk about the St. Louis Peregrine Society. Who are you and what services do you provide? Okay, we like to think of ourselves as a very um, well-kept secret, although in oncology circles we are very well known and the, those are the people who need to know us. Right. But we've been in St. Louis as a local agency since 1949, so this is our 65th year mm. of providing services to area cancer patients. All the services are provided free of charge. Um, we have things like nutritional supplements and transportation for patients to get back and forth to their treatments, different kinds of medical supplies, sick room equipment, those sorts of things. And they're things that help patients stay in their home while they're fighting their cancer diagnosis. So what are the qualifications to receive services? Um, basically, you have to have an active cancer diagnosis. Um, we realize that on top of the things that insurance provides for these patients, there are many, many things that they require that insurance does not cover. Nutritional supplements being a major one. Mm -hmm. There are people out there who don't have a support system and can't get back and forth to their treatments, which is important for them to keep to the regimen that their doctors have prescribed for the best outcomes for their disease. So um, we help with prescri prescription costs, but that is for patients who are uninsured. Okay. So um, we have a wide range of services. And do you, do you work with patients of all ages? Yes, we do. And all types of cancer? And all types of cancer. Mm -hmm. so, there are, so there are no limitations or specifications on what the disease is. We help anyone who is going through a cancer diagnosis. Yeah. One of the things we do for kids is we have a Branson trip that we do over Mother's Day weekend every year. It helps families connect with each other um, and bond and form support for each other. Uh, and for many of the people who go on the trip, it's something that they've not done since their child was diagnosed. And yeah. so it's a great event, and so it, that's coming people, up in May. That sounds like fun. <laughs> how many families um, generally attend? Uh, generally, there's around 20 families. It's 100 people, mm -hmm. so depending on family size, more or less, but it's usually about 20 families, mm -hmm. two bus loads, uh, and we do all kinds of stuff in Branson. Yeah, that's really neat. Yeah. And do you, do you pay for the whole trip? Or yes, we do. You do? We pay for everything. Um, we do get donations. Uh, Silver Dollar City is very generous in everything we do, from admission to the park and lunch and goodie bags they make for the kids. Mm. That's all donated by Silver Dollar City. Wow. So they're that's, amazing. That's great. Yeah. So it, I can imagine there's a lot of time go, that goes into planning that trip. Absolutely. On the part of you and your, <laughs> in your group. Yes. So how are patients typically referred to you? Are they coming by way of their doctors or uh, do they find out about you in another way? Um, that's a great question. And actually most of our patients are referred to us through their treatment center, whether they're being treated at a hospital or if they're being treated um, at their doctor's office, but the majority of our patients come through uh, social services mm -hmm. and the oncology social workers are all familiar with us, the services we provide. They know that they can get a patient enrolled quickly. Um, so if they need transportation tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. they know they can call us and get that set up. So uh, that's where the majority come from, but it doesn't have to come from a medical person. Right. Um, so how many friends or family can make the referral as yeah. well. Yeah. And how many patients are you um, helping in, in a given year? About 2,000. Wow. We had um, over 900 new referrals last year. So add that to the number of patients that are still getting help who've been referred the prior year or in prior years. Right. So. 
Wow, yeah, that's so a, about 2000. That's a lot of impact in our in our town from a small staff. So stay with us. We're going to come back in a minute okay. and hear more about the upcoming trivia night, which I can bet is super important to your mission and, and keeping everything going. Stay Thanks. tuned. We'll be back with Sherry Cunningham and the Peregrine Society in just a moment. <laughs> 